Uh, test three review. If 100 joules enter a chamber of gas and it does 40 joules of work, what happens to its internal energy according to the first law of thermodynamics? So this kind of problem requires you to have a good understanding of the first law of thermodynamics and its implications. So uh, let's again visualize this. You have a chamber of gas and imagine there's a movable piston here, okay? So if generally, if you have heat coming in into the system, right? So if you have heat flow, we call that Q into gas, right? Q into gas. What tends to happen to the gas? Two things. The gas tends to get hotter because you're heating it, right? And also the gas tends to do work on the uh, piston and expand. So the volume of gas is gonna expand, do work against the piston, right? So we say Q into gas is equal to delta E of gas. So change in internal energy of the gas, which means the gas gets hotter, okay? Plus the work done by gas, okay? <clears throat> so this is one um, way of writing and expressing the first law of thermodynamics. You could flip this and say this way. I could press the gas in with the piston, so I could push it down. Then what's gonna happen? Um, then when I push it down, the gas will tend to get hotter, right? And heat will tend to go out. So the direction of the heat will be out. By pressing it in, right? So it will be Q out of gas. Out of gas. So this time, the Q into gas is equal to negative Q out of gas. So it went out, right? So negative Q out of gas equals delta E of gas minus work done on gas. <clears throat> Why? Because this time I did positive work on the gas, the gas did negative work, right? So this becomes negative, this one stays positive, this becomes negative. So I could also express it this way, this one goes to the other side, and then you could write uh, this one, uh, isolate this one here. Um, and so you could say delta E of gas is equal to, this one goes over here, work on gas minus Q out of gas. Out of gas. So that's another way of expressing the same concept here. Right? So what do we have happening here? 100 joules of heat are entering the chamber of gas, so we don't have heat coming out of the gas, we actually have heat going into the gas, right? So we have, this is gonna be, this one, Q into gas, that's 100. And the gas does 40 joules of work, right? And it does, so what does that mean? The gas does 40 joules of work, so so uh, that's gonna be work by gas, 40. And then what's gonna be the change in internal energy? 100 minus 40, that's 60 joules. So the internal energy of the gas increases by 60, right? So therefore, uh, the answer is A. What if the problem had said this? Uh, if 100 joules enter a chamber of gas, and we do, we do 40 joules of work on the gas, okay? We do 100 joules, so what does, what does that mean? Well, heat is coming into the gas, and we're also pressing on the gas, right? So we're doing positive work, and we're also putting heat in. So the heat into the gas is gonna be 100, what's gonna be the work by the gas? Well, if we do, uh, 40 joules of work, the gas is gonna do negative 40, right? So we should put here negative. So what's gonna be the change in internal energy? Change in internal energy, 100 plus 40, it's gonna be 140. 
So the, the gas is gonna heat up. That actually makes sense because now we're not only putting heat in, but we're also pressing down on the piston. Therefore, both tend to make the gas hotter so the, its internal energy increases by a lot. So you could try different versions of this problem. We do positive work, heat comes in, heat flows out, and then see what different combinations you can get. Okay, thank you.